Okay, so we talked about how we overgive to the narcissist. We talked about how we overpay with the narcissist. This one is flat out how we over love that darn narcissist. We over love them. We love them to death because we are out to prove to them that we are who we say we are. This is how I thought of it. So you're going along, you're in the love bombing. Now fast forward, you're in love. You think you're in love, he's telling you I love you, you're saying I love you back, right? You know he's broken, you probably caught on. You get that he doesn't really understand how relationships work. Something's off with this person. You can get that much. So I, it was my desire to show him with all the negative stories he had about his experiences with different relationships and stuff. It was my desire to show him I'm not going anywhere. I really do love you. I'm not going anywhere. This is, I'm here. And that's a large reason why so many chances are given, too many chances are given with their ill behavior. It's like we think that, that the fact that we're going to give them another chance demonstrates our love and, and it's like, and our love is real. See, see, it's really strong. I told you, see, I'm putting up with what you just did. See, not that you say that sentence, but that's, I think what I thought. <laughs> I think I thought I was demonstrating that it was a strong love and even your ill behavior can't squash my love. How over loving someone is that? Talk about over, that is over loving someone. No, they don't deserve that if they wrong you. We are well within our rights to decide we don't love them. Hey, you're not who I thought you were. I don't like how you behave. Bye. That's what I should have said. Instead, I over loved the person. So you start overlooking their money flaws. I mean, there are many flaws. <laughs> there are money flaws. You start overlooking their many flaws. Because you want to just love the death out of them. So you find yourself accepting them as flawed. So I started to say, well, and this is another way that you overlove them. I saw at one point a lot of them, plenty of them, enough of them that I should have run. And I was loving him through them. Loving him anyway. And it's things that you do for them, right? They're sitting on the couch, you know, over loving, you grab their foot and massaging it. You're putting your hands in their head while they're on your lap. You're buffing, he used to like buffing the nails, nails, feet, stuff like that. You're doing all this for this man? Yeah, I did. Massage, rub the neck, rub the shirt. Over loving. Just to make him happy. All the time, by the way. Like every day. The foot, the massage, the head. The you know what I mean? That's over loving. And I'm not saying that I wouldn't do that again. I like that kind of relationship. I think that's lovely. But I look now and I think every day. Hmm, I'm sure there were days that I just didn't feel like it. And I did it anyway. That's over loving. Nothing in you says that you're a massage therapist or a manicurist or a pedicurist. You may be somebody who cooks to show love. That's not me. I do laundry to show love. But you won't find me cooking. So, but if you want to cook, you come up with a gourmet meal every night for him. I'm pointing because my kitchen's over there. Like, you know why I'm pointing. Do you come up with a gourmet meal every night? Because you want peace. You want him to love you. You want him to like you. You want to make him happy. You want to take care of him. You're over loving him if you're coming out with a gourmet meal every night and this man is mistreating you. 
put a can of Dinty Moore in front of him. You know what that is? That's like that beef stew that you ate when you were little. Yeah. SpaghettiOs. Here you go. Let his, if you're a gourmet cook, start letting his food equal his behavior. Hmm. What if we did that? You're overloving him if you're cooking up a storm for this person all the time. That is overloving them. I did laundry to show love. Although he was so quick to do everything, I really didn't even get a chance. But normally that's what I do. Even like when I visit my brother, I'm doing his laundry. Like that's what I do to show love. If I'm in someone's house, I'm going to help them. If they don't mind, I'm going to grip. You want me to do I'm going to throw them in. Okay. You know what I mean? That's how I do. You won't catch me cooking in the kitchen. But I'll do laundry. I'll clean. Some of that. Over loving. Over loving. All of these things that we do, whatever your list is, it's all about making them, right, feel like a king. They're going to feel like a king. My man felt like a king. Stroking their ego, felt like a king. Everything you do, anything that you can do, and that's all part of what I'm talking about, and you have your list, so you know what I mean. It's not just regular love. It's not just... Not that love is regular. There's nothing about love that's regular. But you know what I mean. We overdo everything. We overdo it. And one of the biggest ways we overlove them is what we put up with. That's way over the line. That is asking more of a human than is rightfully theirs that we put up with and tolerate and forgive and accept and ignore their behaviors and their transgressions that is way over and above any level of anybody and we've all been there and we've all tolerated things that we should not have that's all part of over loving you don't want to rock the boat you want to make him happy you want you don't want to be a lot of trouble you don't want to bring it up he's in a bad mood i'll get to it i'll talk to it i'll talk about it later over loving your narcissist is a very dangerous position to be in. And if you're still in the relationship, stop short on some of these activities and see what happens. You'll get told to do them because that happened. I did that. You used to file my nails. You used to... Please. That was during the year. Even the year that we, we did see each other was on and off. It wasn't even a full solid year. But this was like the, the subsequent year where we were talking after. He's like, well, you know, you fell. I said, look, you started to misbehave. I don't buff nails of people that misbehave. Because my behavior started to fall off. Little by little, I wasn't doing anything. I knew it was over. And it hangs on, it lingers on. So there was no more over-loving for me. But I think even just allowing him to spend time with me and me continuing to be with him in that loving, trying to make it work manner. I think that was over loving him for what he deserved, for what he did to me. That alone, you giving them your time continually after they've betrayed you, that's over loving them. But that's not even what I was talking about. I'm talking about in the relationship, we all do it. We cater to them. We dote on them. We can't do enough. Ironically, I was catered to and doted on. That was his M.O. That's what he did. So I'm not quite sure, because I hear that that's not very common. I hear that part's a little off, that they're not usually giving in that way. He did everything. He really did dote. But who cares? He's doing this out the other. You know what I mean? Who cares what he's doing? He's doing all that, right? When you are in the position of being able to now take inventory of what you're overgiving, overpaying, and overloving with this narcissist, I want you to take a step back and decide, you know what, I am. I'm doing way too much. I'm doing way too much. I'm doing more than what my heart tells me I want to do. I'm doing more than what I know I should do. I'm doing more than what I think he deserves at this point. It's making me uncomfortable with myself. That happened to me. I went through a phase of I wasn't acting like I felt. I felt destroyed. I felt wrecked. 
I felt flattened. And I was still trying to go through the motions of, nope, we're going to work it out. We're in love. Here we go. Yep, we're going to try. I don't think that dissonance was good for myself. Acting in, a, in, in cheerful and trying to be in the game, and I'm broken. He knew I was. We would talk about it all, back and forth all the time. But you're broken, Renee. Leave. Nope. I'm going to prove to him that no matter what he does, I told him I loved him. I meant it. I'm going to stick it out. Oh, my God, Renee. Why? What is wrong with you? I should look at myself. What is wrong with you, girl? Yeah, all right. You tell someone that it doesn't work out. So what? You were wrong. You don't love them. You were wrong. Whatever the case, stop overdoing it. And save yourself time, energy, effort, stress. Stop over-treating them. I think that we really do a lot in order to keep favor with them, make our lives quiet and easy, maybe hopefully make them happy, still try to get to them like that way. Do you know what I mean? Please keep an eye on that. Check yourself and figure out if you're doing that, and by all means, start to slow down for yourself. That's, I'm just saying.